Register for the duty, comments. Commence the suffering. Hmm. Okay, so we just have to fight now, that's it. Ooh. Easy. Well, that's a fleet. Well. Uh, yeah, things like leg sweeps don't work on, you know, these bosses. Yeah, they're... Wait, I got a new ability, right? Uh, demolish. Okay, I can't use this. Yep. Oh, no. Come on, grab him by the tail and, you know, twist him around with, with Maria. Hmm. Maybe I should do that. That's a good thing, Armaro, there isn't grunting this guy. Yep. I mean, he's getting absolutely fucked there, so. Yes, he's also getting tail hit on so that's good. What? He's also getting healed at on. Huh, yeah. Funny <laughs> move. I think if we don't, uh, you know, destroy this, it's gonna blow up. No. What the fuck is he doing? Oh no, my health. You got life, fish, right? Oh, yeah, I do have that. Oh no, I need to get away from that. Fuck! Oh, I got hit by the. Uh, after solo leveling, I miss those level up stats, you know, like after beating a boss or something. Hmm. You level up, you level up, you level up. Yeah, you'll get a, you'll get a lot of those in that. Yeah. Yeah, we got a crystal. Yeah. Fireworks. Hell shot. Yep, absolutely hell shot. Pray forgive my lateness. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. So what, he showed up with additional reinforcements? 
Right on time. Yeah, yep, he's right on time. I was treated by a congregation of Amal Church Zealots. I swear, each seemed more evangelical than the last. Hmm, persistent lot. We just beat the boss, right? Like, what is the problem, man? Yeah. They should be like going down to us or something. Hmm. I see the blood spawns wasted no time extracting the captives. No less than I'd expect from the flames general handpicked me. The fuck is he looking at? No idea. As far as as for those two, it is fair to say that their hardship have only just begun. They have much they have much to answer for. I feel I owe you an apology, Nix. Had I known that this mission would prove so dangerous, I would never have left you to face it alone. You have been given a veritable baptism of fire. Yari yari. But let us continue this conversation in the more agreeable surroundings. Can drive on, shall we? This way, sir. Can we just kill that traitor guy? Yeah, I mean, I sure hope so. So that was the mighty Ifrit. The fuck is this guy? It's like Flanker's brother. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what a disappointment he was. The readings are nowhere near what I anticipated. Even taking Ulda's interference into account. You should know better than to rely upon five-year-old data left by the seventh teacher. Nor can we expect any form of support from Motherland, given the troubles at court. We have only ourselves to rely upon. Ever the pessimist, my dear Livia. Promise me you'll never change. We have wasted enough time here. That meter of yours is that meter of yours is too old to give any readings worth a damn. Not that there's art worth damn for it to read, but I take your point. I suppose we must content ourselves with the knowledge that we achieved our with knowledge that we achieved our primary objective. Yet I find that I am troubled by the adventurer unexpected show of strength. Could such a foe prove an hindrance to our plans? Nah, we are friendly. <laughs> oh, perhaps, but that was, but that is a consideration for another time. You have been given a task, and that is your priority. As I suggest, you treat it as such. Fail to do, fail to do as my lord commands. And I will spare him the trouble of punishing you. With allies like that, beware a woman in love. I shall need to be on my best behavior. You recognize this guy, right? Or not? Um, nope. I think he's in one of those uh, ga Galleon cutscenes. Like, uh, oh. that guy came from an airship uh, to that Galleon facility, that main villain guy. Alright. And this guy, he's supposed to be one of his uh, sidekicks or something like that. Oh. One of the generals. Okay. Yeah. I mean, if you can remember that cutscene. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I should show you that cutscene again. That works. What happened? So, okay, these guys are dead, eh? Such. Oh. Ah, there you are, Nix. Come, rest a while. 
where you will have no better opportunity. After witnessing their gods, ignominious defeat, the Amalja will be less inclined to risk our wrath. For a time at least. Now, where are we? Ah, yes. I was in the process of apologizing. I do hope you can forgive me. I arrived too late to be of any use to you or the apprentice. They may be whole of they may be whole of body, but the same cannot be said to their minds. For once, a man is tempered. Ah, but it ill suits me to dwell on the negatives. In midst of our fortunes, there is still reason to rejoice if it is slain by your hands, no less. That is indeed of no, the that is the deed of no ordinary individual makes. Not uh, not that I ever thought you were ordinary. On the contrary, I have long suspected that you have the potential to shape the fate of this realm. What can I say? My fine eye for talent remains untamed. Winfelia will be proud beyond all reckoning when she hears when she hears of your deeds. I trust you shan't object to my bearing the tidings to her. That way, I can claim that I have contributed something to this mission. Yeah, yeah. You, meanwhile, have earned yourself a rest. Take some time to relax and return to the waking sands when you are good and ready. We can discuss the matters in more detail then. Just don't take too long, will you? The realm's problems won't solve, won't solve themselves. Hmm. Well, this issue has been sorted, I guess. Easy. Yep, easy. Uh, so where are all the Sabjati sets? And still, I don't think we retrieved any lost crystals, stolen crystals, or anything. I think our job is to defeat the primal and the rest of them. The immortal flames, they'll take care of it. Which is fair. I guess that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> They return to waking sands. Yep. Chocobo. Waking sands is too far to use a chocobo, man. Damn habit. Hey, Tataru. Tataru. Ah, the triumphant hero returns. Tankran told us the news upon his arrival. He's presently in Sola giving a full report to Lady Minfilia. You should join them at once. Lady Minfilia is most eager to see you. Is she one of the four people that were five people that were introduced to us? Who the uh, that outer lady? Nope, she is yeah. not. Okay. Okay. Malay arrival nearly cost Nix her life. Not really though. Like I <laughs> defeated the primal. So I wasn't there when Amalcha took her prisoner. Huh. I mean, something could be said for that, I guess. And I wasn't there when they saved her to Ifrit. Yes, by some miracle she survived, but that doesn't but does does not excuse the fact that she should never had have had to face such dangers alone. I have failed her utterly. I'm just as failing you all. Just as I'm failing you all. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no, he's gonna go into existential Sorry, crisis. No, oh, no. <laughs> yes, sir. Puku, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have failed everyone. Cossack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's done is done, Tankred. You can only blame yourself for every. Nix, it is so good to see you again. Impeccable timing, my friend. I had just finished my regaling min failure with your heroic exploits. Tankred has told me everything. You have done well to return to us. 
The perils you faced were undeniably great, yet part of me believes that I have had no cause or cause to fear. And now the and now we can put pay to our own our long investigation. What? And now we can an put pay, I guess, put paid. Yeah, put pay to our long investigation. As we suspected, the Malja undertook both the robbery and the abductions with the aim of summoning their primal Ifrit. Hmm. Both the robbery and abductions. Nor is the stay limited to Ulda. Similar instances have been rife in both Limsalam and San Gridania of late. I dare say you, you've been curious as to how these crimes are linked to the primals. Permit me to explain. Having manifested in the physical realm, primals must consume ether if they are to maintain their presence here. And the stronger they become, the more ether they require. Now, ether exists throughout the creation. It flows through all life and permeates the very air that we breathe. Alas. This alone will not suffi suffice to sustain the likes of a primal, or a frit, in this case. Nay, he and his uh, he and his kind require more concentrated source of ether, crystals. It is for this reason that the incident involving crystals can be often be traced back to a primal, which leaves us with why of these abductions. To understand this, you must first understand how primals are born. When all is well with the world, primals possess no physical form. Their essence is dispersed across the great river of ether. However, when the world is plunged into chaos, those who worship the primals cry out to their gods for deliverance from suffering. These cries serve as a beacon towards which primal essence is irresistibly drawn. It is this coming together, or etheric coalescence coalescence yeah coalescence. yeah coalescence which grants the uh, being's physical form once born the primal gains strength from its followers worship the more numerous the fervent they are fervent they are the more powerful they have got becomes so yeah the more fanatic sure, they... hmm. so yeah the extreme yeah, the quality is the stronger the god will be, I guess. Not, not. Yeah. But the primals are <clears throat> but the primals are seldom satisfied with such reverence as their adherents freely give. And in order to gain more power gain more power, they do not scruple to create they do not scruple to create followers. They do this by tempering mortals, a process to which you yourself were subjected. Yet, even as Ifrit took your comrades in his thrall, you alone remain unaffected. This is thanks to the power you possess, the Echo. <laughs> the lack of soul. Yep. Either Echo or lack of soul. I'm yep. gonna assume that it's the lack of soul. So. Yep, me too. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look at the bandana she wore. Man. <laughs> she has no soul. Yeah. yeah. We know not the why of it, but those blessed with the echo are immune to the primal influence. It is as though a greater power protects us. When first, when first you came to us, I told you that the echo would be in Sarma, instrumental in dealing with the primal threat. I trust you now. Begin why? Okay, I trust you now. Begin to see why. Yep. The recent incidents are uh, all share common trait, meticulous planning. Such elaborate designs are a, develop are a new development, and one which fills me with an unshakable sense of foreboding. While I share your concern, my presiding feelings is one of relief at your safe return. Ah, the mortal flames assured me that they will deal with the aftermath, so you, you need not concern yourself with that. We may rest easy for a time. See, they are explaining that too. Like uh, you asked earlier, right? What happened to yeah, those yeah, crystals yeah. and stuff? Yep. Yeah. I suggest you take full advantage of the respite, Nix. You may be sure it won't last long. 
Once the prior, once the people learn the identity of the hero who fell defeat, I fear you will have nary a moment to yourself. Whether she intended to or not, Minfilia neglected to tell you something. Something I think it would be best you heard from one of us. It concerns the tempered abductees that were rescued. I am sorry to report that all, all are to be put to death. The flames, no. the flames with whom you were imprisoned included. Needless to say, this information must not be made known to the public. I swear to you that we would not do this if there were any other recourse. But once a man is tempered, he is tempered for life. His very existence lends strength to the primal whom he cannot choose but worship. And so we science continue to fight that no more innocents need be sacrificed. I hope that you will continue to stand with us next. Yeah, so once they are tempered, but the they are primal gone. is dead, right? Like, who will the worship do? Other uh, primals or all primals are connected? Mm. No, I don't think so. I don't think that's the case either because the primal said, like, when it couldn't temper us, it said we could be uh, worshipping someone else, right? So hmm. that's uh, not the case. Remember this point now. Like, because, uh, let's see, if they don't explain it later, I'll explain it to you why. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, remember this point though. So, hmm. but I should be going. I must offer my apologies to the flame general for the losses his uh, his people suffer. Till next time. I think they will explain it later. Like why Which point they... specifically did you ask me to remember? Uh, like why they are tempered for life. Okay. And you are like this primal is dead, right? Okay. Yeah, so you know. Uh, I think they will explain uh, okay, about okay. it. I, I, I think I can kind of piece it together because... Uh, she said, like, uh, the primal gets a physical form only when everything descends into chaos and shit. So, yeah. as long as there are more worshippers praying for that, it will take a physical form again, I think. Yeah. Yep. Because I mean, they said the, it's essentially in the... It is in and around us, but it doesn't take a physical form unless something, some shit like this happens. Yep. So, yeah, I think that's... Yeah. So, yeah, that's the explanation of that. Yeah, got it. Like once you pay, kill a primal, it just uh, it the it's ether. It just disperses into the land again. All right, got it. Yeah, got it, got it, got it, got it. God, God forgive me. How many more lives? Louis Wa would never have allowed this to happen. You know Louis Wa? Nope. Uh, I think that guy who protected us, like uh, in the trailer. Like we have been sent uh, sent to the future, like five years to the future, right? When the dragon thing mm -hmm. is attacking us. Yeah. In Bahamut. Yeah, Louis Wai is the one who saved us. Mm -hmm. yeah. I forgot everything. What? <laughs> I forgot everything. So what, he saves us and sends us back in the past? Uh, no, he sends us into the future. Five years into um. the future. By us, you mean us, right? Like, as in our character? Uh, not our character. Like, so that's supposed us? to be the story of 1.0 characters. Like, the players uh, who played 1.0. Okay. It's the, that's how that story continues for them. For uh, us, we are the, we are new adventurers. Okay. Yeah. Uh, because before Final Fantasy, this is, uh, Ram Reborn is 2.0. Before this one, there's 1.0. Gotcha. Yeah, that's how they connected the story of 1.4 to 2.4. Those players have traveled, uh, traveled in time to the future. Five years. Yeah. I have to. I have to do better. I have to be stronger. And I'm wearing this bandana. <laughs> See, this is what doing better encompasses. Yep. What is this element? Devil attack with potency of 40. 100 when executed from a target's rage. Hmm. Yeah. So you shove it up there, or so? 
Yeah, if you shove it up <laughs> their ass, it's gonna deal 100 damage. <laughs> if not, only 40. Easy. You can also execute it when in curl form. Additional effect damage over time, potency 70, duration is 18 seconds. Hmm. So, what is coal? Uh, I think, yeah, there was an attack with potency of 270. Additional effect changes form to curl. Uh, okay. Oh no. Uh, Phantom J. Phantom J just followed me. Hey yo, man. Ah. Phantom. What's up? Yeah, that's what Your this. Phantoms does. here. It's all over now. Yeah, by using this combination, I think yeah, uh, our form changes to curl form. So uh, are we like by default in Raptor form or something? Because. The uh, Druid Druid Strike says Raptor. I like yeah. Raptor. Yeah, I think so. Ah. Uh, changes form to Raptor, and by using second ability, it changes to Curl. So we're secret, secretly we're And Raptor. once we change into this form, we can use this ability, and that's what I'm assuming. Huh. Hey yo, okay. what's popping? I mean, nothing. I Call guess importance. we're just, yeah, we're just doing the story of this game. That's what we're doing. Parley Poppins are popping. Yeah, Parley Poppins are popping. Parley Poppins is popping. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> yeah, sure. So, shall we continue? Yeah. Yep. Uh, my failure is failing a rise. Uh, might have something which I need for. Okay. Hmm. Until now, until not it was so very long ago, you were but you were but one of many adventurers seeking to make their own way to Aosia. But for your character and courage, you were raised to be assumed post of envoy. Huh. Therefore, you travel the realm, aiding those in need without the thought of reward, confirming to Tangre that Saiyans would benefit from your aid. And no sooner had you joined us. That you personally behested a primal ifrit. You have achieved a great deal in a short time, and won fame in doing so. Alas, fame does not come without a price, as you will see, as you will soon discover. So we will have paparazzis roaming around us or something. What roaming around? Paparazzi. Maybe, yeah, they'll be yeah, taking yeah. <laughs> bandana photos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, compromise bandana photos. <laughs> yep, yeah. uh, we are based bandana enjoyers. <laughs> yep, easy. Uh, we have guests, Nix, or rather, you have guests. Okay. Oh, no. Papa, as they are on their yes. way. Yep. Da. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it that guy again? Mm, no he was problem. behind that other guy, and then he just joined the crowd and started cheering for us, and now he's here too. Nope. Uh, these are different guys. Okay. Yeah. Ah, Lady Minfilia, radiant as always. I'm given. I am given to understand that the Science of the Seven Dawn have but recently welcomed a new hero into their midst. I am here on behalf of Maelstrom, Grand Company of Limsa Lominsa to offer said hero a place of honor within our ranks. Maelstrom, huh? So he's Grok. Yep. As you can see, Nix, your recent exploits have garnered your attention, you the attention of the Grand Companies of Eosia. Each organization would have a free its pain for its own. To this end, all three have sent their officers to court you. <laughs> they would not ordinarily go to such lengths to enlist new recruit that they have that they have a ease wait what? Ah, that they have is evidence of their high record for you. Huh, it's supposed to link the previous symptoms. Yeah. As in that they have done all that. Yep. 
Sometimes, yeah, out of context, these sentences don't make any sense. And also the fact that they have uh, put that have in italics. What? Or do we call it italics? I don't know. Oh yeah, italics. Yep. Yeah. I find myself wondering how word of next day spread so quickly that the immortal fame should know of her triumphs is to be expected. But what of the other grand companies? Oh no. Yeah, I'm not gonna make <laughs> that noise. Doing. I'm not gonna make that noise. <laughs> if your reputation precedes you, Mr. Nix, there's no ordinary woman who can face a primal and emerge the victor. The order of the twin adder has need of a valiant woman such as you. Join your strength to ours, friend. Together let us ensure peace ever reign over the Twelvesword. Twelvesword is Gridania. Hi. What a pleasure it is to finally meet you, Mr. Nix. My comrade speaks of you in the most glowing terms. Why? Even before you aided, even before you aided us against the Amalcha and their dreaded primal, yours was already a respected name in Ulda. Our people know you and love you well. A woman of your talent belongs with immortal flames. Join our strength. Join your strength to our friend. And together we let us secure a prosperous future to Ulda. Oh no, they are gonna say they were peace, huh? Yep. Yeah. So yeah. we gotta make the choice now. Yep. The admiral was not exaggerating when she said she when she said you have the look of a hero. Hmm. How often does she speak of you, friend? <laughs> it is only natural. Yeah, it is only natural that we should want you for the main strong. Join your strength to ours, and together we let us see the grand vessel of Limsa Lamisa uh, to the shores of glory. Hmm. Yep. <laughs> Shell shot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she likes choices very much. Yeah. I mean, she's been unemployed her own whole life, and, and look at yep. now. Look at her now. <laughs> yeah. Easy. Lady Minfilia. Ha, huh, very well. Though I'm quite though I'm quite sure you need no reminding. Perhaps a brief summary of the situation would help to clarify the thoughts on this matter. As you know, the Grand Companies are the all encompassing organizations empowered to call upon the martial economic and technological resources of their respective cities in the times of strife. There are presently three of such organizations: Eosia, the Maelstrom of the Maelstrom of Limsa the Order of Twin Adder of Gridania, and the Immortal Flames of Fulda. Wait, uh, Immortal Flames are the things that we are we the have. people who we worked with, right? Just now. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Serving a grand company means serving the nation to which it belongs. You will be charged with its defense and tasked with advancing its cause. In return for your faithful service, you will be furnished with various rewards, some of which may well prove useful to you in your other endeavors. If you are recognizing over which grand company best deserves your loyalty, be at ease. The commitment you make this okay, the commitment you make this day need not be permanent. Should you wish to shift your allegiance at a later date, you are to enter. You are entitled to do so. And yet, I can see that it is no small choice you face. Ah, a thought has occurred to me. You will, of course, recall that the three city-states are planning to hold their remembrance services. Hmm. Okay, so they are conducting those thingies. Huh? What? I think we went as an envoy for them to remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, as a part of the proceedings, I am given to understand that the leader of each grand company will deliver an address. Hearing these addresses ought to help you make an informed decision. What do you say, my dear officers? 
<laughs> a fine suggestion. You are as wise as you are beautiful, my lady. Very well. Let's hear. Let's hear our lady. <coughs> Very well. Let's next hear our leader speak, and then return with her. Return with her decision. We eagerly await your answer. Easy. Huh. <laughs> yep. I know full well that the adventures are by their nature a liberty loving breed and not best suited to discipline of a military service, but I strongly urge you to join a grand company nonetheless. While the promise of the reward is enticing in itself, it's not the only benefit. You are possessed of a great power, Nix, and with it you are capable of doing untold good. Yet, Know that the great power won't want to attract attention. Not all of it is friendly. There will be those who wish who wish you ill, and you must needs to you must needs be on the lookout for them. Yet, however vigilant you are, you are but one woman in midst of the in midst of a grand company. However, you will be one woman amongst many, a friend amongst friends. Your achievements will be shared. So. Will the danger? I can think of no better arrangement. I'm a strong, confident woman. Yep. Of course, joining one organization need not mean leaving another. I hope that we can continue to rely upon your aid. That will, that will know that we will have need it, need of it in the days ahead. The grand companies seek to protect their own nations. We Saiyans, on the other hand, seeks to preserve the future of the Asia as a whole. Similar, yet, yet not quite same. Now then, I expect you to be a feel more often in the future. As such, I would have you to carry this ring barrel with you at all times. It will allow us to stay in touch regardless of location. Yeah, she gave us a phone, I guess. Mm. Yeah, your Z is changing, Nix, and you have the power to shape it anew. None can, none can say what the morrow will bring. But so long as we believe in ourselves, it is not we cannot achieve. Now it is time you made ready for your journey. Before you depart, be sure to speak to Tatter. She will appraise you as to where and when the remembrance services are due to take place. Oh. It's gonna be all of that, Amal. Yep. We, so what? We we go to three remembrance services, uh, hear the speeches of three of their leaders, and <laughs> make a decision or something. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Easy. Yep. And they, these guys will stay here until that happens. Oh shoot! So we have to go and do all that, come back here and give them. Yep. Uh, okay. We should pick an officer after that. Can't we just like pick right away? I don't think so. Let's see. Uh, that man speaks even the pilot listens, and that she's a small thing. She's a born leader. The kind one would gladly follow to a summons. Okay, nope, you can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so I guess now we have to travel to Age of First Places as well. Yeah, we will have cutscenes. Morning's here, the morning's here. <laughs> yeah, dear. Yeah. Uh, um, I'm sorry about all that attention you're getting, Nix. I might have sung your praises a little too loudly and often to a few too many people. <clears throat> Next time, I'll show to hold my tongue, literally, if necessary. So, she's the culprit, eh? Seems like it. Yeah. Anyway, I expect you. What the fuck? Why is 
Why is this thing moving with my mouse? Hey! Oh no. <laughs> yeah, anyways, expert, you want to know where and when the remembering services are taking place? Yeah, if all goes to plan Gridania, Gridania's grand company, the Order of the Twin Adder, will hold the first of the three services. The Elder Seeds here, Kan E Sena. Should I just call her Kanye? Kanye West or something? Sure. Yeah, I'm just gonna call her Kanye. Yeah, I'll just call her Salman Khan. Why, man? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Khan E Sena. That's her name, but you know, I'm just gonna call her Kanye. Kanye. Yeah. Easy. Yeah, Elder Sia Kanye will deliver her address at Me Keto Amphitheater. I should probably mention that at this point, that due to the organizational challenges involved in assembling all those involved parties, it is possible that the order of the services might change. Still, there's not much we can do about that. So make it done your first port of call. Okay, next you'll go to Ulda where the flame general Rob on Alden will ad will be addressing the masses of masses of the royal pro promenade. Yeah, promenade. Oh, and it is rumored sure. that they will be a special guest. How exciting! Huh. Last but not the least, you must make your way to state room of Slim Salamin where Maelstrom Chief Admiral. Yeah, I'm not. Uh. Uh, Merlib? I think how it's uh, pronounced is Merlib uh, blows fiend. That's how you're supposed to pronounce it. Her name. Merlib blows fiend. But uh -huh. it's just a bunch of gibberish, man. Yep. Yeah. We'll be giving her address. The room is inaccessible. Gee, the room is accessible via the admiral lift. And for yourself to the sentries, Santiel, and he will admit you. Got all that? Yep. Well, off you go then. I yes. hope you find the remembrance services suitable, suitably educational. I suggest visiting the city say, stairs in my prescribed order, though. With your record of impeccable timing and luck, the schedule may well change the favor of your preferred travel plans. Favor. That's <laughs> like the least cost economical order. Like we have to go elsewhere, come back, go elsewhere, come back. Yep. Best one would have been go elsewhere, go to that second place and then come back and then come back to uh, our company. Huh. I mean, this place. Uh, let's go to Gridania first. Uh, uh -huh. We have to, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I guess we could have taken that air sangi. You should have reminded me that earlier. No, we wasted 500 gil. And we got a bunch of the dinosaur. Yeah. We are making money. Can we just put up our own thing, own company? Yeah, maybe we should do that. I mean, players yeah. can form free companies so that other players can join. Uh -huh. You know, it's like a guild. Yep. I mean, just like the way that guy does in Solo Love Sign. Yeah, similar to that. I think... Is this supposed to be the quote-unquote gathering? Yeah. Yep, two people have showed up. Yeah, it, maybe we are just early? Yeah, we're supposed to be one of the most important people and we came out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well. Yep, I don't think these people... Okay, there's one guy who sat... Uh... Oh, there's two people who sat on the benches. Oh, no, this guy is too yeah. obedient. He <laughs> seems determined, you know? He's like, yeah. I'm not gonna lift my bench till someone starts speaking. Yep. Uh, these and these are just guards. Yeah, those aren't even. And I don't even know who this guy is. So, yeah. That's that. There's another guy in the corner. Yep. That just looks depressed, though. Exactly. 
やっぱりレスリーブイ その都の名はグリダニア、ヒューランとエルゼンは手を取り合い生きてきました。今では グリダニアという大樹は繁栄を続けてきました。カヌエ様の後ろ、グリダニアの国旗を見てごらん。ユース。ユース。ユース。ユース。ユース。ユース。ユース。ユース。ユース。ユース。ユース。ユース。ユース
自然の恵みを奪い精霊の心を乱しています、うん、XR are the tribes that are related to Gridania like、uh, Amalja for Ulda XR are for、no. Gridania、yeah. 第7連載以降私たちの故郷グリダニアは不安定な状況が続いているのです確かに親友隊はデスコクタイ族の討伐に大わらわだそうだカルテノンのとても悲しい戦いでしたあの戦いで亡くなられた数多くの同胞に哀悼の意を表しますなくしているレンジが誰に会ったっていうのよ。あれセネコゼロ。やっぱ。スワイクストロング。しかし、ガレマール帝国との戦いはまだ続いているのです。彼らは森に横島なる砦を築き。居座っておりますですが国内が不安定な状態では帝国軍を追い払うなどかなわぬ夢でありましょう私たちは再びグランドカンパニー総社党のもとで団結しガレマール帝国と戦わなくてはなりませんカルテノーの戦いから5年この節目の年にグリダニアの理念調和と協調を思い出してくださいそして今一度皆様の結束をもう耐える時は過ぎました悠久の風は私たちと共にあります赤心の前に道は必ず開けるのです精霊の導きと共にこの森に平和を取り戻し次の500年後の子孫にも豊かな森を残せるようにしようではありませんかカネエ様おおこの森を守らねばな<笑>いや、yeah. They were moved by that speech, I guess Yep, this guy jumped <laughs> Yep私たちはこのカルテノー戦没者追悼式典を見て回っているのさ各国のグランドカンパニーの名手たちがどういった主張をするのか楽しみでね。Put together in the room. In the room, it's just in pursuit of and light. Huh. Uh, the, Gridanians, the Gridanians are unfortunate enough to have to contend with two beast tribes. Huh. The Exile are unquestionably the more troublesome. Being. Being of a naturally warlike disposition and want to summon their bloodthirsty primal Garuda.、Mm -hmm. Sylphs, by contrast, are peaceful in nature, being mischievous rather than malevolent. Malevolent? Malevolent. Malevolent.、Yeah. That's okay. And have long been on friendly terms with Gridanians, until recently at least. Alas, they have grown aloof, a change. A change observed roughly the time they summon the primal. I guess that's the movie, right? Rama. That... No, no. Maleficent、uh, or something like that. Uh. Mm, this is actually, there is actually a form of this one. 
Maleficent. Not, not Maleficent. It's uh, Maleficent. Yeah. Oh yeah, Maleficent. Okay. Uh, I guess it's the same thing. Yep. Maleficent is something like bad. Uh, a change observed at roughly the time they summoned the primal Ramu. Uh, so two of these people are trying to summon two other primals. Yep. The Gradanians have no love for war and they consider open conflict as lost resort. Though they clash with the Ixal ever more regularly, you may be assured that they do in so self defense. As for Sils, they are as yet bound by a peace treaty, though one wonders how long it will take before it is broken. The Troll's foot was grievously wounded during the Calamity, leaving the Gritania vulnerable to attack. The people are hopeful that restoring the wood and thereby the power of the elements will put an end to their woes. Yet how long will it take? Centuries? I would wager. Centuries I would wager? Meanwhile, Exile will continue their incursions, spurred by Gridan, Garuda, and her insatiable appetite for destruction. Whether the Gridanians like it or not, sooner or later it will come to all out war. And when it does, the order of the Twin Adders will need the help or will need all the help that it can muster. How valuable might the aid of a capital adventure prove to them then? So what they said, they're peace and they're just gonna fuck off now? How is that guy a guy? He looks like a guy. I mean, they're twins. Remember them? Uh, no. I mean, when we first came uh, from the carriage, they are with us. Those two people. Is that what? Uh, mm. When we were coming to Ulda on a carriage in the beginning. <laughs> Ah. These two twins, they are with us. Ah. Yeah. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, da, ba, da. Now we have to go to Ulda. Airship? So, from Ulda, we went to Ta Gritania, and now we have to go back to Ulda. And then we go to Lensa, and then we go back to... Wait, 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 airship. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and then we go to Lensa, and we go back to Ulda, and then we go to that um, place. What is that place? Storm? No, sand? Sand castle? <laughs> I don't know. Some sand, something to do with sands. Waking sands. Yeah, waking sands. <laughs> Not sand castle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Rage King, not Rage King. Hmm. Yeah, I'm getting more and more invested in the story. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the actual story begins now, so. Yeah. Yeah. Up till yeah. this point, they are just introducing us new features. They just in interviewed it into the story, I guess. That's mm -hmm. what they oh. did till now. Uh, Frontline attendee, I think. Okay, ship ticket here. Yeah. I have to go to Ulda. Yeah, we saved like 400 gil now. What are we gonna do with all that gil? Party? Party! Good day. Nani? Hmm. Where are we supposed to go? Let's get in that. Mm. Okay, we have Shake to get ladies. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, that's uh, what this guy is saying, huh? Yep. It's like shake it like this. <laughs> yep, this is the same guy. Hmm. 
That big dude is set. Yep. Okay, we just stay there right here. Yeah, they are right. Woohoo! Where are you? Hey! Yeah, hey, they are right. Chamber of Wheel. Destination. Happen again. Yep. Oh, it didn't happen, I guess. Yep. Oh, no, 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 スナノミヤコ黄金鏡ウルダハとして繁栄してきた。ラウバーン局長の後ろ、ウルダハの国旗を見てごらん。あの絵柄は黒地に金の天秤という衣装さ。天秤の左側には富を表す宝石、右側には
かの戦いは結果的に勝利と呼べるものではなかったかもしれぬしかし第七零細後のこの困難の時代皆が己のことだけを考えるようになっていったウルダハの現状を見よ難民が押し寄せ貧者がそこら中にいるそれなのに不者たちは財を通して助けようとはしない武を誇った者たちも動こうとはしない今のこのウルダハの状況をカルテローで戦った友達に誇れるのかウルダハを不滅隊を信じて散っていった者たちにお前たちのおかげで平和になったと胸を張って誇れるのかこの地に迫る蛮族アマルジャ族の脅威は相変わらず強くウルダハの生命線である交易路を脅かしているさらにガレマール帝国に至っては一部地域を占領し清林水などの資源を奪っているウルダハの国難は続いているのだ商人による自治を望む共和派も王家に忠誠を誓う王党派も共にウルダハの繁栄を望んでいるはずであろうこの国難こそ勝機であり同時に勝機である富を求める全てのものよ武を誇る全てのものよ黄金鏡ウルダハに憧れし旅人や義士そして冒険者よ目先の富だけを追うのではなく国を世界を見据えよ今一度七文字王陛下のもとに結集するのだウルダハを守るグランドカンパニー不滅隊を信じ私服を肥やすのではなく不滅隊に投資しろエオルゼアの駅はウルダハの国益であるそして国益は国民の駅であるもう任せろあしたにもやるよ七ナ様苦しゅうない Oh no, it's gonna happen. Yep, yep. <laughs> The old dance have the long history of conflict with Amalja, the beast tribe was she that worships primal Ifrit. Judging by your looks of distress, I think you have encountered them. I mean, I did more than encounter them, <laughs> just defeated them. The old dance. The old dance do not shy from confrontation. If art threatens their precious prosperity, they will seek to crush it. So have they dealt with Ifrit thus far, smothering his flames each time he is stoked to life. Yet he is but one of the several problems. Though they have been quiet these past five years, the garlands have not gone away. Meanwhile, refugees continue to arrive in droves, and Ulda has no clear policy on how to deal with them. After all, not even Sultan's coffer are bottomless, and even assuming they had coin, resources will will ever be finite. Which brings me back to the subject of Ifrit. 
it has been observed that the amalja summoning him with ever increasing frequency every time they do so holdans uh send their forces to smite the primals and you and though they will invariably succeed each victory is bought with blood it is a war of attrition which they cannot cannot well sustain small wonder then that the immortal flames are eager to recruit more members at such a desperate hour a adventure of your experience would be most welcome addition to the ranks for the say for their sake i hope the frame journals for struck a chord with you see because of that bandana you know yeah we strike out compared to other yep. people that's why he's talking to us of all the people out there <laughs> yep clearly that's what that is So between those two speeches, who do you vote till now? Um, who do you go for? Between those two, I guess the first one. Okay, you like Gridania more. Uh, it's not like I like, but it's like we could be of more use there. Ah, okay. Because you know they have two factions and to deal with. Yep. Yeah. Not factions exactly, but yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, okay. Uh, I can use airship, right? I'm a gun fly, so we we push. to no level no, that's not that's not the way and this is gatekeeper yep mm, yes you planning yes there is Limsa Rominsa Pa 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 Okay I have to use the lift here Drowning wrench Drowning wrench Yep. Hmm, I think there are two more. We can unlock two more dungeons here. Huh? Should I unlock them now? Um. Let's get the the speech done with the guys. Yeah. Mm. I mean, we can unlock and do it later, right? Yeah, we can do them later. Yeah, just do it. I mean, right now we are just going with the story, so. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think we have to go down further. And from here, yeah. Here to attend the remembrance service. Be quick. The admiral is due to give her address at any moment. だが帝国との戦いは帝徳の手柄だ。協定も結局はダメだったしさ。うちの船もかなり沈んだよ。やっぱ understand everything。よ、I understood だめ。That's a shit hairstyle. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> I guess we fit right in with those people. Oh, uh, yep. Kike, Hokori Takaki Yumi no Tami yo. Omoi okose, Tamashi yusaburu, Wale ra no hata o. Ah, I don't think so. I mean, at least not for us. Densets no Kenkoku Sen, Garadion Go ga hyochaku shi. 
リムサロミンサの礎が築かれたのが今から700年前皆海洋と航海の神リムレーンに導かれ海の民として生きてきた。おやおやメルウィン提督の後ろリムサ・ロミンサの国旗を見てごらん。This are the sailing standard, I must say. 流線旗と呼ばれる模様だ。赤は犠牲となった仲間たちの血を。黒のロングシップは海賊船を意味しているんだよ。エオルゼアを侵略してきたガレマール帝国に対して我々はグランドカンパニー。国家団を結成した5年前帝国とのカルテノーの戦いにおいても直前にヒルフィル以下の海賊諸派と同盟関係を結びガラディオン協定を成立させ共に戦いに挑んだ海の民の底力を見せつけたのだしかし結果は皆が知っての通りだ。国家団、海賊勢力ともにカルテノでは多くの者が死んだ。自由のため、己の正義のために戦い、苦しくも丘の上で散っていった者たちに哀悼の意を。自由か。みんな利己的さでもそれは蛮族だって同じはずだ人と蛮族は根本的には何も違わないのだからこの5年我々は決死の思いでリムサロミンサを復興してきた第七霊祭の傷は深くいまだ言えきらないそんな中リムサロミンサは以前にも増して輝きリムレーンのベールの名に恥じない都市へ復興を遂げることができたしかしこの我々の努力を踏みにじろうとしているやつらがいる晩神リバイアさんを信奉するサハ銀族がついに上陸したマジかよサハ銀族がそして晩神タイタンを信奉するコボルド族がオゴモロ山を出て南下してきているこの蛮族たちは今後のリムサロミンサの繁栄に大きな壁となって立ち塞がるだろうさらにはガレマール帝国だ帝国軍がリムサロミンサ領内に砦を築いた全面衝突も時間の問題だリムサロミンサは今三方からの敵に囲まれているしかるに国内に海賊問題を抱え内部が一枚岩ではない今まさに我々は嵐の中にいると言えようこの嵐の中我らが取るべき進路はただ一つ蛮族帝国を打ち払いリムサロミンサが新たな世へ進むための航路を開くのみそのためには第七霊祭の後分裂した海賊諸派と国家団が再び手を取り合い冒険者と共に一丸となって困難に立ち向かうほかない人が作り出す返せば可能もまた人が作り出すもん。ホコリタカキユミノタミヨソノチカラソノギジュツソノチシキヨイマイチドシューケツセヨワレワレワヒトツシンクノハタノモトニキル
奮系の友である<笑>提督万歳ロメム様早速野郎どもを集めなきゃな,な死が足りるぜ俺は提督についていくぜいやまた会ったね。You literally spoke to us like minutes ago, right? Yeah. I mean, maybe at that time he doesn't want to interrupt us with unnecessary you know, greetings, I guess. No, 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 no. They spoke to us after we came here before this yeah, very started. But he didn't greet us, so maybe he's greeting us now. <laughs> As the Admiral mentioned in her address, Lim Salamin says plagued by two peace tribes. The first are fish like Sahagin, worshippers of the primarily Vaitan. The second are kobolds, who dwell beneath the earth and take the primal titan as their god. As if the peace tribes presents one troublesome enough, the Garlands have chosen to erect a fortress right in the Lominson's backyard. And that is to say not of internal strife. As a nation of pirates, there is no end to the blood feuds between the various factions. And while they fight amongst themselves, the Galleons wet their blades and watch. If, La- if the Lominsons are to have any hope of withstanding the Empire, they must first resolve their own affairs. Difference must be set aside and the primal threat dealt with once and for all. To this end, I expect that they will soon take a decisive, act, decisive action against the peace tribes. Mark my words, the Milsum standard will be drenched in a deeper shade of crimson air along. That a careful adventure like you would be a valuable addition to the crew is beyond question. Next, this has been failure. You are well, I hope. Would I be correct in thinking that the final remembrance services has now been concluded? A moment ago, you say? What a coincidence. Justing, I said, I trust. That's justing, really? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, she has some poor sense of humor, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I would not. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case, let us you remember our guests from the g- Grand Companies. Well, delighted though we are to have them at, here at the Viking Sands, it would, not, it would not do to keep them in suspense any longer than necessary. In short, hurry back. Yeah. So, which speech impressed you the most again? I mean, at least the speech wise. <laughs> Come on. Uh, uh. I like the metaphor she was speaking in t h o u g h That was like the most unnecessary shit ever. She d e s i r e d to do it then if you... Oh well. Uh... Oh yeah, here's ship ticket. So after all this, who do you want to choose? Oh... Oh, okay, see, p a s i t i v e goes over that. I don't even know. Hmm... The last one seemed interesting, though. Uh, like, they said one of the threats is in the season one. Underground or something? Yeah, something like that. I don't think there's much to do in Ulda, so, right? I mean, we are. Unless already... I don't know, the story progresses in a different direction. Yeah. And... In the other two lands, there are two primal siege to deal with. In the end, this choice is up to you, like... Yeah, yeah, I get that. 
yeah. and just assessing the whole situation. Ah. I like the last one between Gretanya and Bemsalamans are good. Bemsalamans. Oh wait, why am I going through all this shit? I I have a Etherite ticket here. Fuck me. I could have used this. I'm a fucking um, idiot. Okay. Using that Vesper Bay ticket will send me straight to Waking Sands. Uh -huh. Yeah. I could have done that. But nope. <laughs> Oh no. This is, I think this is a two seat amount. Huh. So, yeah. If, if you're choosing to like fight with two different things which are like corresponding to a merger and shit, then either of those two works. But from what I heard, this one seemed more interesting than Salaman saw. Hmm. But I guess we'll just stay with stick with Ulza. Yeah, instead of doing the different corresponding primals, I see how the story progresses linearly. No, like yeah, you have to do all those primals eventually. Like, it it is part of the story, so don't worry about that. Oh. It's like, like that, huh? <laughs> yeah. So you have to deal with them all in the end. So what's even the point then? <laughs> It's it's your choice. It says who you affiliate with, like uh, who who you side with. I guess. So no matter what, we have to go with deal through all. Yeah, we have to deal with them all. Oh. Yeah, it's just who your ma like uh, whoever meets with your mindset. Like how do I put it? Whoever okay. aligns Why with you. Resonate with more. Yeah, resonate with more. Yep. Ah, uh, then I thought I would just stick with Ulta. Hmm. But since we have to do all of them eventually anyway, so... Um... I think the first lady seemed a lot better. Uh, but then the... I, I'm not sure it was Sylvians and Ixer or something. Yeah. Also the names are pretty simple to remember out there. And also, they are all filled with elves, so I think we'll fit there right in. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So let's just go with Limsa Ramans. Yay! Wait, yep. what? Yep, you heard me right. Yari, yari. <laughs> After all the justification towards Chigridani, <laughs> you were like, nope. Yari, yari. <laughs> Uh, yep, that's that's how my mind works. <laughs> oh well. Uh, welcome back. Uh, yes. Choose the path that, that you know you're least inclined to choose. Hmm. Surprise yourself. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> <laughs> welcome back, Nix. Were the grand completers for were as illuminating as you had hoped? Hi, each nation is beset with problems. I trust you see. You see now why your services are in such demand. Would that there were more of you, Nix. But you must be tired from your journey. Why don't you rest a while and take a moment to reflect on your decision? Once your mind is made up, uh, pray give the Grand Company officers your answer. あの冒険者はどこの国のグランドカンパニーを選ぶんだろうね。いずれにしてもこれで世界は動き始める。アルフィノ、あなた本当にこれでいいと思ってる？どういうこと？They just speak like they're the most important fragments of story. Like they have ach
they have nothing to do now. These are like the people that came along with us, right? Yeah. And they're probably not as powerful as us either. Yep. I mean, yeah. It is what it is, and you will understand mm. later. Okay. ก็ก็ในที่ Okay, I think the the time or time period after the calamity. It's called Seventh Umbral Era. Hmm. Like uh, how these things are named. Uh, I mean, at least in this universe. Yeah. Uh, as like uh, it is divided into two things. Like uh, Astral Era and Umbral Era. Okay. Astral Era is the time where you know the uh, this home r- whole realm is booming. Mm-hmm. Like it's prospering. Umbrella okay. rise the time when it's on a decline. Okay. That's how I me- they measure it. So mm-hmm. after the ca- after the ca- the calamity happened, you know, it all went into decline, right? Now this is okay. 7th umbrella era. Okay. Yeah. Tashikani kirei goto datta kamo shirenai ga ne. Warriors of Light are the ones who fought uh, in that trailer. Right. Yeah.光の戦士たちは第七霊祭からエオルゼアを救ったエイユーだ。その英雄を出さなかったということは各国が。それぞれに自立を模索しているということ。このエオルゼアは霊祭で深く傷ついた。それでもどの国も明日へ向かって歩み出している。蛮族、蛮神。エオルゼアにはまだまだ問題が山積みだ。各国のグランド鍵だよ。いいかいアリゼ。明日のために未来のために第7霊祭は過去にしなければならないんだよ。おじい様はあんな奴らに未来を託したわけでも組織を残したわけでもないわ。で、<笑><笑> お嬢様、お待ちください。無理にでも分かり合わないといけないのさ。それが僕たち経営の宿命なんだから。それに鍵は扉を開くためにあるだけじゃない。過去を知りたくもない真相を閉じるにもまた鍵は必要なのさ。That happened. Yay. Yay. So, it's these guys then? Ah, uh, that was the uh, Maelstrom one, right? Yep. Sure. I mean, sure, you are the one who is supposed to be sure, so. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. How was that, Mara's speech? Ah. But you need not expect that you stand before me in the, 
Now is the answer enough? You have you have resolved to join the maelstrom, have you not? Yes. That's the spirit class. With uh, with allies like you, how much stronger how much stronger is our crew? Let us pray, let us pray the sea together, friend. Now the choice is made. It is time to add you add your name to our roles. Make your way to Limsa on the Sun Sea Court or Grand Company's headquarters. So I guess you started in Limsa on the Yeah, I started uh, with Limsa on the Okay. And I so, uh, what? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, go on. Yeah, and I chose Maelstrom too. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah, Maelstrom, I accept. Maelstrom command is located in the upper, on the upper decks. I will send word to our personal officers to expect you. The duties of the Maelstrom uh, soldier can be both arduous and challenging, but I promise you, you will not regret this choice. You may pa may your passage be swift and your bearings sure. I mean, this is another feature of the game. Okay. Like, uh, you will be given certain objectives and stuff, and once you complete, you will go hmm. through ranks. Like, uh, uh, you will how do you, you will be promoted to higher ranks. Uh, okay. From, you know, from a field soldier to lieutenant, captain, you know, something like that. Hmm. Yeah, and as you progress further, you will unlock more rewards. Okay. Yeah, the higher you get, the rare, you'll get the rarer rewards and you can, some of the rewards, you can sell them in marketplaces and make money too, you know. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, this is another feature of the game. Hmm. Okay, how to go to Limsa or Lominsa now? I think after this we'll get our own mount. Huh. That's cool. Shwee. Hey, adventure! What business have you at the Maelstrom Command? Come on. Um, and I believe you're expect Enlist. Go with the first. I don't want any endless ones. Nix, I, our recruitment officer, sent a word of your coming. It shall be my honor to induct you into the ranks of Maelstrom. Now, before I can accept your oath, you must be made aware of several... Sir! Okay. What is it, Private? And this had... This had better be important. Sir, we have received report from a lookout from Lower La Nosia, sir. Imperial forces have fired upon high wind sky... Skyways Asia. The vessel is in a bad way, sir, and appears to be banking for an emergency landing at Cedarwood. Cedarwood? Damn it! We have no troops available in that area. Uh, the bulk of our inventory is bogged down on the coast, skirm skirmishing with the fish packs. Fish packs are sahagins. What? Uh, fish packs. Uh, they are sahagins. You know, the one of the beast stripes. These guys call them fish packs or something like that. Saha what? Saha Gin. Ah, okay. Yeah. I actually forgot both of their names. Uh, one is Saha Gin and the other one is Kobold. Go? Kobold. Uh, K-O-B-O-L-D. Um, uh, so which one is the Leviathan worshipping? Leviathan is uh, Saha Gin. Okay. Uh, hi. Imperial forces. 
okay by the way imperial whenever they reference imperial that means it garlian garlian forces god yeah it's considered as imperial empire god yeah. uh stars stars this is highly regular but if you are you, your first duty in service is to service to the mail storm must needs to be afi unofficial huh If our man at l- lower Lanosia is correct, the airship will come down in the territory crawling with the Imperial scouts. If there are any survivors, we must reach them before the Galleons do. Make haste to see the wood. Look at the airship, and if a- if any of its occupants are alive, make sure they come with no further harm. We'll see about swearing you upon your return. Pa pa ra. So yeah, we have to do that. Ah, uh, let me check whether the mount is unlocked or not. Give me a second. Because it usually it unlocks at level twenty. So we are right now at level twenty quest lines. So. Mount is supposed to be, yeah. In this so time. the story that you played, yeah. I guess instead of defeating that guy, uh, the 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 primal that we defeated first, did you defeat the any of the primals and limbs elements at first? Nope, uh, I defeated. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, when we went with the story, we defeat. I defeated that guy first. If it. Gosh. Okay, I think yeah, I can't get the mount yet. Like if I can, there will be a quest here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, company map lower no. Okay, I can't go there. Yeah, that's your cabo. Some sort of interface. Yes. What was that enter that? Okay, this thing will take me to Okay. Ha uh-huh, ha, I rented a chocobo. Um okay. Hmm. So that's the thing, eh? Oh, uh, I have to... no. <laughs> Fuck me, dude! Now it's gone. Okay, I hate my life. I hate my life completely. Yeah, eighty uh, gil got fucked. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, now I have to go back. Yeah, accidentally dismounted. Fuck me. It's like eighty gil for ten minutes. Huh. Lost lamb. <laughs> yep. Yeah, just lost forever. Little And ladybug. this is supposed to be a little ladybug. Yep, that is little. Yep, very. I little. can barely see what's my neck like. Dodo. Yep. Oh. Wild Dodo. Airship crew. I think. Ah, uh, Dodos and Dodos and these the ones those extinct species. Ah. Uh, Zimbabwe. 
I don't think so. Dodo. Zimbabwe, um, New, New Zealand. New Zealand. Yeah. Dodo still exists, right? They don't. They do. I don't remember actually. I thought I there was some... uh, another species of New Zealandian origin that was like that went extinct. It's a bird too. I mean, there's kiwis. Yeah. Okay, kiwis uh, are not extinct, so I think it is dodos then. Yeah. Yeah. Well, at least they live in this game, I guess. Yep. Nice yeah. one, son. Yep. That is. And we some. kill them here too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, these are not aggressive creatures because it doesn't have red symbol here. Huh. If the symbol here is red, then they are aggressive. They will attack huh. us. If they, if it's blue here, then they won't attack us unless we attack them. Okay. Yeah, doors are extinct. Yeah, that's just sad. Yep. Uh, yeah. The fuck? <laughs> An adventure? What are you doing out here? No, wait, let's find some cover first. Cover against the Dodos? Against them. <laughs> I mean, this one shrieked out. Uh, okay, I'm mean, right. Guess it kind of makes sense because. Well, strong command sent you. How do I know that you are not an imperial spy? You don't even have a uniform. <laughs> very, very. <laughs> so that doesn't means... trust the bandana. <laughs> yep. I mean. <laughs> Who would ever trust this man? Yep. Be at ease, sir. We are of Maelstrom. You are a Garland Iron Works engineer, yes? One of our lookouts reported an attack on, if you, on your craft. You are here to rescue. You must be Stras. Good work reaching on our friend here before the Imperials. Fuck. I have never seen a craft of this design. It must be Garland's work. Is there no end to this man's treachery? So, why does it say Imperial Soldier? These guys are Imperial Soldiers, right? The Garlians. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay. So that these are not friendlies. These are not? Friendlies. No, they are not friendlies. Okay. Uh, I mean, they are the one who shot the craft and now they are trying to, uh, you know, get sort through wreckage, I guess, to, fi to find these crewmates. Huh. Okay. Yeah. The secrets of Magitek belongs in Imperial hands. They are not to be squandered on Eosian savages. Oh no. <laughs> uh, the turn gave it away. Yeah. Well, they found a wild savage here. Oh, they're just, you know, I think it's a turnip. Yeah. Yeah, that would work. Yeah. Uh, we are we are taking this craft back to the fortress. Dismantle it if you must, and bring the engineer. Someone must pay for Garland's crimes. Hmm. Scouting party from the Castro Museum, I'd say. Seems they want your ship, engineer. Which, which you have to help him. 
that fool that fool of all hell was hiding inside the tiny bronco tiny bronco isn't that the new design <coughs> isn't that the new design pe people have been whispering about it is the first airship we built since the calamity the first since the massacre learned well since he went missing after years of work, she was finally ready for her first test flight, and she was soaring. She really was, and she was soaring. She really was, till those bastard bla bastards blasted it out of the sky. All right, pay attention. We are going to hit these Imperials hard and fast. If they want their souvenir from Eosia, yeah, they can have a knife in the gut, but they are not getting that ship. Oh, and don't forget to save the Lalafer. What say you, Stras? Ready to give those girls a hiding? Like a tidal wave, lads. Charge! Why isn't he charging? He was I mean, ready to fight us before. That guy is an engineer, I guess. Yeah, but he wanted to fight us, right? Take like us down or something. Huh. Yeah, whatever. An ambush. Two arms! Yep, just gonna beat them. <laughs> uh, can I use my AOV? Nope. This storm lieutenant is a marauder. Yep. I think I've made a huge mistake. Ha! Huh. <laughs> so you realized it now, eh? <laughs> How did I not see that? How did I put two and two together? This guy would be accompanying us now. From now. Yeah, from uh, from from this point. Uh, this free, you know, uh, this grand company members are gonna accompany us Act, yeah. through cool. dungeons, yeah, NPC so dungeons. Might as well get used to those guns. Yep. I mean, if it's Ulda, uh, Paladins will accompany us. Ah, uh, gotcha. You know, yeah, it be it's based upon, you know, the grand company mm -hmm. that we take from this point. What about the other? Garland. No, no, Garland. Uh, Gr Gridania? Yeah. Uh, I don't know about that though. Okay. What the I fuck is he doing? Why are you running? You fucking piece of shit. Come on, do a leg swipe, he won't see it coming. And just gonna do that next time. You peer! <laughs> yeah. I like swiped him. Nice. Bix! Hey, little turnip showed up. Wedge, you shouldn't have stayed here with. You shouldn't have stayed with that shit. That, that was a close one. Too damn close. So how's she looking anyways? The auxiliary propeller is at dead loss, but I think we can bring enough thrust from the main propeller to get us airborne. A few minor modifications and we should be able to fly the tiny Bronco home. We'll stand watch until the ship is ready to take off. The Imperials will come looking for their scouts eventually, but I doubt they'll get here for a good while yet. Stras, you are free to return to Mainstorm Command and complete your induction. Ordinarily, 
Not Nedley. I would ask you to stay, but I think we'd we'd all feel better knowing that an adventurer of your ability was safely sworn in and ready for the next mission. Rest assured, I'll inform Command of the part you have played. That's the dumbest idea I've ever heard. Huh. Like the Imperials, like their scouts have not returned and there would be more coming and these are like what, three or four of them? And he wants us to leave to, you know, get our thingy, get ourselves enlisted in that thing or something. Yeah, maybe more will follow them now, like they'll get the reinforcements. Yeah, but he's asking us to leave now, right? Yeah. What if those people are on their way? Yeah, anyway, whatever, just. Yeah, whatever, they, then these guys are fucked. So, yep, not so, our problem. <laughs> yep, not our problem. Uh, um, just wanted to say, um, just wanted to say sorry, you know, for calling you an imperial spy and all that. Got that, got that one wrong, didn't I? Aha, seriously though. If you yeah, I don't had... blame him for that bandana and all. I oh, think well. the same. Yeah. <laughs> If it hadn't been you and the Maelstrom lads there, we'd be chained up in a dungeon by now. I mean, your dead friend. We both are. Which? Thank you. We're very grateful. <laughs> and Biggs and Wedge, these two, these two guys are fan favorites from other Final Fantasy series. Like, uh, at this point, I think it's like a custom. Like, they, these characters appear in every Final Fantasy series uh, in some sorry. capacity. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. Oh, what? I'm supposed to. Okay, I have to go to Maelstrom. Is the book? Welcome back, Stras. I just heard of the report. You didn't be concerned about the engineers. They completely they completed their return trip without further imperial interference. Huh. So it's done then. Yeah. I must admit, I had my doubts at first, but it seems the stories about you are true. I look forward to seeing what else you are capable of. After you are properly inducted into Maelstrom, of course. Now, speaking of your induction... Uh, uh, the personal officer stands and to complete your induction. Let us start afresh, shall we? Yeah, you are welcome here, Nix. The, that, that such a well-respected adventure would choose to join our ranks is most heartening. Before you swear your allegiance to us, however, it is only right that I tell you exactly what it is that you will be joining. A grand company is more than a simple, simply a collection of soldiers. It, it is an all-encompassing organization which will draw upon the resources of an entire city-state to form a united military force capable of standing against a nation's deadliest enemies. We, are, we of Maelstrom are charged with meeting the threats, po threats posed by primals and the Guardian Empire and solving many problems caused by the calamity. Every man and woman who serves under our colors has a role to play in keeping the great warship that is Limsa Lominsa afloat. And whatever hair, whatever heading Chief Admiral Melville blows fins, he is fit to set. 
As part of this Grand Vessel crew, you will be expected to take your turn at O's. What the fuck is that? For the uh, everyone speaks in ship. <laughs> yep. Uh, for the winds do not look favorable uh, as the strength <laughs> of our <laughs> may be all that seas are safe to port. So they all have to do that, huh? Yep, they all do that. It's like they're taught this shit in schools or something. It's their way of living, I guess. <laughs> yep. Yeah, if I have law, <laughs> I mean, at least they are dis- distinct, right? Distinct, hey. Yeah, distinct compared to other grand companies. It's not like uh, a grand yeah, company not, that is uh, painted red, uh, pale, and you know, brown. That's it. Hmm. Yeah, they that's... have their distinct personalities. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, there's that, but we have to put up with this, though. If I have lost, if I lost you with the talk of the ship, I know. <laughs> See, it's not like he doesn't recognize it. Like he knows that. He's gonna, but he's but gonna he do, it to do it anyway. Do it anyhow, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let me put it in another way. Emil, some soldier labors till his till her last breath, fire till her last drop of blood. We uh, we give all of our services to this nation, and no less is expected of you. Stras, it is customary for the new recruits to swear an oath of their own choosing upon entering the maelstrom ranks. Is there oath that you like to say? Come on, dude. You have something to say? Nope. Yep. Okay. <laughs> uh, what oaths will you swear? Have my word to. <laughs> <laughs> what skills I have are yours to see? Swallows fall, I will follow the admiral to the very bottom of the abyss. Okay. W- what are those three dots? Is that an option? Yeah, maybe we'll just stay silent. Yeah, do that. Huh. So you chose not to do these three, eh? Nope. Okay. Awkward. <laughs> no, love for grandiose proclamation, say. <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> ah, such silent resolve is not uncommon among the brothers and sisters of the sea. Now, Nix, I hereby assign you to the rank of Storm Private Third Class. You are now officially a soldier of the Maelstrom. Welcome That's aboard, it. Private. Yeah, may you serve him so long and so well till. <laughs> Till sees fellows all. Oh no! <laughs> yeah. uh, despite me not doing it, he decided to do it for me. Yep. Yay! Come on, clap. Woohoo! Yep. Woohoo, indeed. Can you hear me, Nix? This is Minfilia. The officer of the mailstorm contact me with the news of your enlistment. My congratulations, Private Stress. I have no doubt that I have no doubt that you are eager to make the acquaintances of your newcomers. But I would ask you that you pay a visit to your oldest ones first. Remember, though you are now a woman of the storm, you are no less a sire. Pray return to waking sad sands at your earliest in earliest convenience. There are some friends who are here who. Oh, I very much like you to meet. We shall be waiting. No rest for the wicked, eh? Before you make yourself scarce, I recommend having a war with Commander Ricky. Might be worth your while. Okay. Now I'm gonna accept the quest, my little chocobo, by speaking with. Ricky. Yeah, 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 this is the mount quest. Oh. My little okay. chocobo. Yep. Oh. This question was my family now to proceed to the end of the main scenario of the Rembrandt. Yeah, so we have to do this quest to complete the story, like at some point oh. of time. Okay. I mean, it's better to unlock that mount now, sir. Don't have to deal yeah. with the Asian bullshit. 
Yeah. Yeah, like once you are part of the you are part of the maelstrom, right? So right now you have access to these things. Okay. Yeah, and this is for storm private third class, second class, storm corporal, and storm first class. And once you upgraded to next class, next set of classes, then you will yeah. be made available to these resources. Huh. And you, you know, when you reach the top, you will be, uh, you will have these resources available. You know, weapons, so, armors, uh, materials. Uh, by resources, what do you mean? What do they do? Uh, the, like these are some of the resources crafters use to craft uh, different kinds of gears and stuff. So we can sell this stuff in the market board. Ah. Uh. Yeah, we can sell this stuff. Uh, we can buy some minions and stuff. So, uh, are there any like outfit like, changes or something? Uh, I think so. I think you can. This is the armor set. Uh, the ones we can purchase, now. Yeah, these are the armor set that we can purchase. How much do they cost? Uh, they cost like what? We don't have any maelstrom currency right now. Huh. Yeah. So, what what comes of all that gil? Uh, we can't purchase anything with gil with these okay. guys. I think the one way we can uh, make those uh, maelstrom currency, you know, this one. Is by mm. doing dungeons and uh, selling them unnecessary gears. Like from dungeons, you will get gear and stuff, right? Right, right. Yeah, and if sure. that gear is unnecessary, you can sell it to these guys, and they'll mm. give you the currency. Yeah. Got yeah, it. with that currency, you can buy all that stuff. Gotcha. Yep. Uh, a pop no longer. Okay, I think this will un. Hmm. Ah, this is a unique quest. I think completing this will give us a new minion. Okay. I mean, it will give oh. us a small puppy. They'll give us a small oh. puppy. We already have a minion, right? Yeah. Following us. Yeah, but we can collect more minions. There are like hundreds of minions in this game. So. Ah. Yeah. What shadows on cast? Uh. I think it's not available for us. It's a level 44 quest, so it's not available uh, for us okay. yet. And okay. completing these quests also reverse uh, storm seals. Hmm. You know. Cool. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. My chocobo. Uh, well, if it is in the private cells, I must say the tales of it, it has been inspiration to the troops. Our duty is to take us far and wide, and I'll wager you have slogged across quite few moms of countryside are uh, not but your own two feet. Yep, I did. Such a sterling soldier of maelstrom deserves his, her own steel. Let us see about having one issued for you. All you need is to obtain the storm chocobo issuance by exchanging company seals with the quartermaster. All you need is to obtain a storm chocobo issuance by... Okay. Once you have this steel, present it to the Fragrance, I'm just gonna call uh, Fragrance <laughs> and she will see you saddled up on one of her trusty bulls. I'll take this other one too. Uh, private stars, uh, just the woman I was hoping to see your express all the hospital calling. So don't let this puff your sail too much. But I have heard the higher up saying that Mainstrom would be lost at sea without you. I suspect you are not the type to rest your laurels. Nay, the tempest raging in your eyes tells me you're looking for new waters to navigate. Fortunately, we have that place. A uh, chance, uh, order of Wolfstone. Okay, this is PvP. This unlocks PvP. My bad. Alright. Yeah, uh, it is a proving grounds, sort a sort of establishment. It's in a place where most promising grand company recruits are sent to hold this skin of honor, shoulder, and honor, self. Yeah, yada, yada, yada. Tales we
bum, bum, bum. Wait a second. Uh, my little who were present the storm chocobo issuance too. Okay. Okay. okay, I can't present it to her yet. Wait, uh, in order to complete this quest, I think I need a storm chocobo issuance. Mm. Storm chocobo issuance, it's uh, 200, uh, 200 storm seals. And by completing this ca this quest, I'll get like 1200, right? I'm just gonna complete it then. I'll get 1400 okay. storm seals by completing this quest. Huh. Ah, okay. By completing this quest, I'll get 300 storm seals. And this is the main scenario quest. So I have to go Thanland for that, really? That's a load of horse shit, man. I yeah, have to go to Waking Sands. And then I have to come back. Yeah, it is a load I of fun. We have a free pass to Waking Sands or something? No? Yeah, we have. Okay. Uh, use. Free! 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 Footfalls. Whisper a bit. Mm. La, 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 la. Hey, Papalemo, you are here. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Uh, like there are some additional storylines that uh, that will be going on around here. Like whenever you complete a quest and uh, come back here, yeah. Uh, you can see more of the story happening around these people too. Like if you want to interact with them, they'll huh. story progress with our stories too. Uh -huh. Yeah. So they have their own stories going on. And if you want to, you know, listen to that, you can do that. Yeah, but that will just increase the number of things we have to keep track of. Yeah. Some of the stories are fun. So if, uh, if I come across things like that, I'll interact with them. Mm, sure. Yeah. I think right now this is the one. Have you met somewhere before? You must be quite a accomplished adventure to be welcomed into this house. Me? No, no one's ever expected much of me. And so far I have done a fine job living down to their expectations. Hmm. Remember her. Her? That's a her. Okay. Yeah. That's a lady. Huh. Cool. Wait, I don't think it, this is the lady. Yep, that's not the lady. Okay. Wait! Okay. Fuck me, dude. Yeah. I mean, I got surprised for a reason. Remember this guy too. Mm, cool. I heard that you have placed yourself with a grand company. Me? I don't think I could do it. I would never feel like one of them, no matter what the recruiters say. Huh. So I never noticed him here, huh? This is a mm -hmm. shock to me. Wait, I saw what him. What is he looking for? I have no idea, but I saw him somewhere. Mm -hmm. Who are you? Uh, here. I hear tell from one of my brother came through not long ago. Looks like I just missed him though. 
Okay. I ain't seen either one of them since the calamity. Didn't know if they were still alive, but after running into four, as for they knew me time again. I reckon they had to be out there somewhere. I've been traveling and pedaling in the hopes of finding me brothers ever since. If you see a fella, what look, looks like me, let him know that Brenda's looking for him, would you? Okay. Dude, this guy looks like that guy we saw in that Immortal Frames thingy. Yeah, uh, the, that carriage guy. Yeah, the one I said I saw, but it turned out to be fine. Carriage uh, guy? What? No, uh, uh, the other guy who carried us. Like, uh, the carriage uh, guy. I think we came from one of his carriages to Ulda. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that no, guy is this guy's sure. brother then? Yeah, probably. Hmm. Okay, I'm realizing there are a lot of new things then here. Wow. Mm. I never expected that. Is it this lady? Nope, it's not that lady. Okay, that lady is not here yet. There's an important side story that's going on. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but this one is a surprise for me though. I'm not gonna spoil about this. Hey yo, talk funny guy. Fear shall be thy guy. When our purposes become one, once again shall our paths lead us here. A city and a ultimate shadow, sir. Oh, the light of dawn breaketh. Shall we follow with the, the sands blows? Yep, that's how he talks. I'm not even gonna bother. Welcome back, next Let's make fun of it. Sure. Yeah. Uh, welcome back. It seems that you have wasted no time putting your skills to work. How do I know? Why? The recruitment officer called to regale me with the tales of a few heroics. The pride in his voice was palpable. We seans are truly fortunate to have you with us next. Now, when we when last we spoke, I said I wanted to meet some friends. Did I not? Well, I neglected to mention that you have met you have already met. Ah. Tataru, please tell, please show them it. This way, sirs. Yay! Thank yeah. Thanks again for getting us out of that mess. We owe you our lives. But I don't think we properly introduce ourselves. I'm Biggs. And I'm... I'm... Gods, man. Spit it out, will you? <laughs> Bitch! At your service. <laughs> Yep. I'm pleased to say that Bix and Wedge will be staying with us for a while. Mastic driven contraptions such as airships grow ever more vital to city states of Eosia. As a neutral party, it was just that we should serve as the keepers of this technology. Of course, for this we needed the knowledge of the experts, so we requested assistance of Garland Ironworks. Who were very kind, who very kindly sent us to two of their finest instruments. Okay. Our happy family continues to grow on behalf of Sions. Uh, I bid you welcome to the Waking Sands. <laughs> yeah. Like every soul here, I love Eosia. I found myself blessed to have been given this chance to stand with you all and fight for the future of the realm. Never have I known such fulfillment, such happiness. Ba -ba if it's done. Yay. Yeah. Uh, let's stop for today. Sure. Yeah. I mean, are we not getting that thing? Like, uh, mount? yeah, we can get that mount now. Yeah.
before that let me check if there are any other story parts that i left because does this door open nope you have something to say instant with the traitor still weighs heavy on everyone's mind the flame general most of all although he cannot be ex expected to know the evil what he will in the heart of every man under his command the revelations have to stay in his authority even so it warrants saying that you should not let this rise to color your opinion of the man all my years of working with the flame general i never see never had reason to doubt his capacity to lead okay it seems like something directed straight to because i was the one who suspected him <laughs> uh wait you suspected who me uh the flame gender or something is that not the guy we met earlier oh yeah yep that's the guy yeah wait you suspected that guy no wait who is flame gender again uh robin who oh, what robin ro Raban, you know, uh, Immortal Flames General. Yeah, but that big dude who lifted the. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah. never mind. I, I had someone else in mind. Okay, you were thinking about that guy in that uh, location. Yeah. Hmm. Ah. So he is also in some capacity. it like yeah i mean even that guy from that location he works for robon in the end right yeah so maybe that's, that's why robon feels guilty that there are traitors hmm. nice yeah now let me see if you have this right you are an adventurer who is a scion and in the storm golly how do you keep track of everything ha huh. <laughs> it's me yeah Uh, it must be fun pairing uh, with a lot of different people. Though me, I'm always with Papalimo. Come to think of it, why am I? Why am I always with Papalimo? Okay, she's having an existential crisis. Crisis yeah. right now. <laughs> huh? Okay, these little dialogues, they they will have a payoff later. Then, like oh. these are like small foreshadowings, like everywhere. Since I played oh. through the story, now I can pick them up. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm connecting the dots now. Huh? Yeah, I'm connecting those dots now. Like so, this so this thing was foreshadowed, uh, you know, at this time. Hmm. Hmm. So additional dialogue is worth it then. When the calamity, his station arm was a bit large scale restructuring centered upon its grand company, Ingridania, Absol, both. Miller's and Guard Kilmers. Now I'm trying to get a complete mixture of Maelstrom and the Knights of the Black Mirror. Ulda is the odd nation out, having made no notable changes to its armed forces as before, and in the spirit of Sultanate, each entity retains a certain degree of independence. Okay. Mm, yeah, I'll go back to Rimusa or Rominsa. the one uh, material storm chocobo shrines yay Ooh. yep now i can get that mount mount yeah now i'll get my own chocobo yeah and yeah. after getting a chocobo uh, customizing his garments it's a whole huh. another ordeal Uh-huh. Yeah, like uh, 
most of them you can find on market boards and some of them you will find only in specific dungeons uh, you know with uh, specific drop rates and stuff oh. and some of them you can only craft okay yeah so it's an it's a whole thing in its of itself or something like that uh-huh. Yeah, it's a whole thing. Gotcha. And yeah, people spend a lot on this. Uh, it's called Chocobo Barding, and the people spend a lot on this. Barding, huh? Yeah. Okay. Hey yo. Huh. Mm, want a body? Want a bird issue? You say? Then I'll need to see your storm choke positions. Well, see it. <laughs> yep. Easy. Yes, everything appears <laughs> to be in order. <laughs> like I said, limitations of PS3. Yeah, I know. <laughs> A moment, please. I'll be right back with your chocobo. Is she like pretending to be a chocobo today? <laughs> She's also walking like, like you. Me. You see all this customization, right? There be various kinds of things. Like uh, you can change the helmet thingy. Yeah, I see. There are different kinds of designs and stuff, which are really cool. Like I need huh. to get into this. I have some bad things, like I bought off from market board. But okay. there are many cool ones to customize Gosh. your chocobos. Hmm. And here okay. he is. The fellow has been in high spirits for past few bells. He must have sense that your master was coming. Okay. Now then, make it a, to make it official, you will be given a noble steed a name. Okay, I think we should give it a name. Huh. Hmm, just gonna say Quay, huh? Come on, what do you wanna name him? Uh, uh Chocobo. You call it Chocobar. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Yup. Chocobar? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. Final? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, we're chocobo chocobo. It ran away. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't think I like the name very much. It's like, nah. <laughs> what? Just <laughs> what? what the fuck just happened? Yeah, they say he likes his name. I don't think yeah, so. Yeah, they say not. <laughs> yeah. yeah, here is your very own chocobo whistle. Simply blow into it, and your feather, uh, feather friend will come bounding to your side. But do forgive him if he doesn't respond when someone crowds city areas or monster infested lakes. Chocobos are stout hearted creatures, but they have the limits. And lastly, I present you your chocobo riding rider's license uh, as required by law. And that concludes all the formalities I wish you and your chocobo long years of fulfilling companionship. And after a certain point of time, you can unlock another thing with chocobos. Like he can fight with you. Huh. Yeah. And you can upgrade a, you can upgrade him into different classes too. Like you can make him either a healer or a tank or a DPS. No. If uh, if you make him a healer, he'll you know he'll fight with you and he'll heal you too. Okay. Yeah. And if you make him a tank, you know he'll become a tank for you. Mm. Stuff like that. And he le- yeah, and he levels up with you. And after this, there's a whole another thing. Uh, okay. ch- chocobo breeding. Huh. Uh, in that you, 
you breed uh, you know different kinds of chocobos to get a better offspring okay yeah like for example uh, one chocobo is good at speed and one chocobo is good with endurance if you try to breed them you can then you can get a chocobo with both speed and endurance but it depends like it's there's a chance of getting that you know and right. you can, well, once you got that new chocobo you can use the for chocobo races you know like horse races huh. you can participate in races and stuff Okay. Yeah, that's a lot of things. Yeah, that's a lot of things with chocobos. I mm. mean, we haven't unlocked all of those yet, but we'll unlock them later. All these features. Got you. Yep. That's so cool. Yep. That's a whole thing. Like people try to get the best chocobo ever. I mean, they try to breed the best chocobo so that they can compete in the races and mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, we got a chocobo, I guess. So let's test ride him. Sure. Now we can summon chocobos. Yay! Yay! Yeah, we got our own chocobo now. Woohoo! Yep. Easy. Yep. And it's called chocobo. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know that's a mnemonic device I used to remember. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep. So let's stop for today then. Yeah. Um, like that Robinson Crusoe. Yeah, uh, yeah. Finds yeah. a guy and he finds him on a Friday, so in here. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it reminds me of that movie. I think it's a it's a book, right? Robinson Crusoe. Yeah. Yeah. I saw that movie and that movie is really sad. So I was like, okay, I'm now gonna watch that movie over again. <laughs> also, that's a movie made. Huh? Yeah, yeah, Robinson Crusoe. Okay. okay. And that movie is extremely sad. Huh. Like nothing good ever happens to him. <laughs> Okay, I mean, I don't remember his story, so I'll uh, just take your word for it. Oh well. Well, yeah, I'm going to stop streaming here.